Are you truly happy in life right now? Having a loving and caring family, partner, and friends is important to keep you happy and fulfilled in life. However, like anything in life, it's impossible to have only the good things without experiencing the bad things, and having bad and toxic friends has always been a very common occurrence. Toxic relationships can be very damaging for your overall well-being, so it's very important to cut the toxic relationships off as soon as possible. With this in mind, here are five types of people you should stop being friends with. 1. The friend who always needs something. Does your friend only ever talk to you when he or she needs something? This is a very telling sign that you have a toxic relationship with that person. Don't get this wrong, it's okay to need things from your friends from time to time. But a friend who is constantly asking for things from you, be it money, class notes, or a ride, without giving anything back, is certainly someone who will not contribute to your happiness. True friendships involve mutual interest, and not one person just taking from the other. Additionally, people tend to change their relationship priorities at different times in their lives, and it's normal for your friends to have less time for you when they start working on a personal project, or when they find a partner. What's not okay is only looking for you when they need something, and then giving you zero priority and disappearing once they get what they want. That only shows that rather than being interested in you, they only see you as someone who they can take from. So, cutting these people out of your life will allow you to spend more time and effort on people who are actually interested. 2. The friend who gaslights you Have you ever had a friend who constantly blames you whenever something bad happens in the relationship? If the answer is yes, you might need to consider that your friend is gaslighting you. Gaslighting refers to the act of manipulating a person to question their thoughts, memories, and things happening around them. Make sure that you compare what your friend is saying with the way they act. For example, if your friend says that they care for you after blaming you, but treats you very badly, chances are that they are only saying that they care for you as a way to gaslight you. 3. The friend who never reaches out to you Do you feel like you are the one doing everything in a friendship to maintain it? Are you always the one who has to make the plans to meet with your friend? A very common trait of a toxic friendship is a one-sided investment of time and effort. If and when they decide to answer your texts, they also make you feel like they are doing you a favor. If you can relate to that situation, then it might be a good idea to find a way out of the relationship. Being in a friendship where you have to do everything and then they make you feel like they are doing you a favor can be very exhausting and make you feel underappreciated. 4. The friend who always talks about themselves Keeping a balance in relationships can be considered impossible, so accepting that some things will be unfair in friendships is very common. However, do you feel like your conversations with your friend always end up being about them? Even when you talk to them about a problem that you're having, they turn it around so that the conversation ends up being about them. You might be looking for someone whom you can vent your problems to, only to find yourself being the one listening to your friend's problem. Having this kind of friend can be frustrating, since you will feel like you cannot rely on them or tell them anything, while you always have to give them your time and attention. 5. The friend who always talks down on you Do you feel like your friend constantly says things to put you down or make you feel inferior? If the answer is yes, then the best you can do is stop being friends with that person. It's normal to feel like you are not in a place that you wish to be when one of your friends gets a promotion or has achieved something you have not. After all, this feeling is one of the main driving forces for success. However, it's completely different if your friend is the one who comes to you and brags about the promotion with the intent of making you feel like you are inferior. You are better off with no friends than with friends who enjoy making you feel inferior constantly. If any of the situations addressed above sound familiar to you, then reevaluating who you should truly consider a friend and reorganizing your priorities is the way to go. After all, you wouldn't want to be investing most of your time and effort into nourishing a toxic friendship that will only negatively affect your overall well-being. We hope we were able to give you insight into how some people are just not your friends at all. Do any of these describe your experience? How did you find out? Leave a comment down below about your encounters with them if you'd like. Please feel free to share any thoughts you have as well. If you find this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with those out there being taken advantage of. Don't forget to subscribe